see I've been pretty much fanboying about uh, the arc coming out. Yeah, I know. A lot of people are talking about it. It's pretty I hope crazy. It's not going to get too hyped. Yeah. Yeah, that's been build up for the hype. has been pretty, pretty real. <laughs> Let's talk about Dave's picture. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, Who's the studio putting it out? Do we know? Is it is indie though, right? It, not a major. Um, no, well, it's a. They, I guess they've done uh, projects that, like in the past, like a like a video game before or something. But like these, apparently they've all had like uh, 10, 15 years of, like video game development for like major companies and everything. Oh, okay. Um, and they went up and so, did their own thing. Yeah. So basically, they just like set out and did their own their own uh, studio like bridges and bridges of Madison County it, um, I do have the bookmark to the page um, I think it's uh goes right to the steam I wouldn't say so much page better. right there but uh, yeah I guess uh, I guess they've all had like major games uh, that they did um, for the last like 10 15 years that they've been working on um, I'm trying to see the actual name of oh the yeah <laughs> there we go of the like uh, company it's not like this is happening that. a lot I mean this happened with uh, the long dark which was people that had been in the in the business especially at AAA studios and moved over to uh, you know what, they didn't want to work in this kind of environment and make their own game. Open up a studio. Yep. I think so this day and age you can do that. what about the funding aspect of it? How are, how are they doing it? Like Kickstarter? Or what? Yeah, exactly. That's the crazy part of it. So how do you do it? Because their team has to be pretty big. I mean, we have a team of 10 and it's, it's struggling. It's hard to do what you want to do in the time that you need to do it. And they've got a lot done. Like, it's a pretty big world. Yeah, and the the main like uh, developer guy, he was saying that they got so much of it done because it's like with I guess with the the experience that they have, like as you go along, you just know what is like priority and what has to like you know get out of the way and get done first. So then he was like saying everything else, you know, it just gets easier. Like after you just like get the major uh, things, it's uh the studio's uh, wild card. Um, they're called wild card. Yeah, never heard of them. So yep. They must be uh, first timers. As far as yep. their first game, oh, good for them. It'd be interesting. I like the base building aspect of it. it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Uh, about Studio Wildcard. Studio Wildcard was co-founded in 2014 by Jesse Rapsack, former technical art director at Microsoft Game Studios, with the mission of bringing AAA quality to ambitious indie production designed for core gamers. With 12 years of industry experience across multiple um, independent so studio back titles. Microsoft Sorry, bought a bought into a, or or I'm not sure how it works, but they have a big share of Unreal. Okay. Um, Do they really? Why, well, they bought Gears of War, right? And mm. uh, that so came that's along, which is Epic, yeah. Yeah, that's Gears of War came from Epic, and that's all Unreal Four as well. I got a friend over there who's who's a modeler, and uh, yeah. Yeah, so they probably already knew his name and it was just like, we'll help fund you. <laughs> oh, it, it, it's, it's always easier when you've got guys with, with games under their belt, right? Oh, yeah. yeah it's like, yeah, oh, sure. that guy made this, this, and this, so it's easy. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely yeah, easier. It's, to get it's much easier with some street cred, right? It's just like, it's movies or music. It's the same thing. Oh, this guy had four hit movies under his belt. I'm yep. going to go see his movies. And then you're also going to, yeah, yeah, you're going to, if you're a producer, you're going to back that director, right? Oh yeah. So yeah, it'll be, uh, be it interesting looks fun. to see. Yeah, it does. It does. I'm trying to think what else is coming out this year that people are what are you guys looking forward to game wise? Let's go around the board. Let's start with Jacob. Anything? Star Wars? I'm not too sure. I haven't really been uh looking mm. into that many games yet lately. I I'm, I got I'm, one. Well I've right. been well, let me just jump in here real quick because okay. the, the, the You are um, next. The re envisioning <laughs> The re-envisioning of Miss Pac-Man looks fantastic. What? Um, yeah, it's a, it's <laughs> Are a, you it's serious? A, it's a first-person shooter, and she's she's mean. <laughs> that oh, name she's drop. Just... <laughs> Pac-Man. She's 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 
packing heat oh, and um i want to see that movie no you don't no you don't that that Pac Man movie? No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. With Adam funny. Sandler in it's it. It's got Adam Sandler. That's yeah, funny. where he's like, he's like that Asian dude. He comes up to like the giant. Yeah, like, no. Like Pac Man. That looks guy. funny, though. <laughs> like bites off his arm. The, the, last, it's, it's, the only thing Adam Sandler It's a, a matinee Sunday Happy rental. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The wedding uh, singer? Yeah, and the wedding singer. Mongi? I'm. What yeah, you what I'm you look what totally are you looking for? I'm waiting for the uh, drop of Fallout 4 at E3 this yep. year cuz everybody's oh, right, been right, right, hyping right, right. that up in Bethesda the first yep. day of E3 that the the entire conference is dedicated to them and uh, every every game that they've been developing is already like said and done you know it's like they they've already done the next installation of like Skyrim um yeah. shit that other that other game Doom. Uh, Doom. Yeah, Doom. Or Doom. Oh yeah, that's, Doom. that's that was the yeah, that was my first real game. Doom. I think it was a lot of people's first real game. Yeah. For, yeah, for, yeah, for first it, person I shooters. Got it for free on like a three point five inch floppy. <laughs> <laughs> Those are wow. The days. When you could fit a game on a three point five inch floppy. <laughs> right. Fongers, how about you? What are you looking forward to this year? Uh, the thing that I'm most looking forward to and kind of worried about because I've heard things going up and down about it is uh, the division. Yes, oh, I, I, that's right. I was going to say like, that. Kind of I don't know. If, for a while. Is that this year though? Is that the question? Well, yeah. Right now, it's all totally up in the air. Like it was supposed to be basically done by now, but then stuff happened. I thought it was supposed I don't to break at the same time Watch Dogs did. Like I was expecting those those two to sort of come out at the same time. Yeah, yeah. So I don't, yeah. I don't the really way it was, the way the it was promoted, is. it looked that way, Steve. Totally. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Doom looks interesting. I hopefully they'll get more tidbits during E3. Yeah. Um, other than that tenth of a second shot you get. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Isn't it funny that like with our short attention spans and everything, like that really that's what's exciting for us. We see that yeah. and we're like, oh okay. What else you got? And that's all you need. Uh, so you're saying division? Yeah, division is gonna be my division. Name. Erica? I think because everybody I know has been kind of talking up Ark so much, <clears throat> I'm really hoping that that one is gonna be yeah. kind of the main one that I'm gonna be playing. Hopefully, unless yeah. Daisy can kind of fix itself. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think yeah, I'm, 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 I think for as far as Daisy, we're not seeing we're not gonna see anything until um probably uh, spring of next year as far as like hitting beta and pretty much everything yeah. being implemented. Oh, yeah. I, I think but I think though if 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 the if they stick to their plan, point seven looks like a nice sweet spot to come in and 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 really enjoy the game. That sounds like when they're gonna be you know, the the new engine will be in and, and all yeah. that yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah. So. I'm really because for tonight direct X. tonight compared to uh, experimental was brutal. Like, oh yeah, the frames. The frames were brutal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be nice to see um, what experimental's like. Yeah. And for me, be able to film in the game again. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Because like getting eleven <laughs> frames, I'm like, what's the point of having like an amazing graphics card and <laughs> all yeah. this other stuff? I'd have to say for me, it'd be the Division Two. Of this, something I've always been looking forward to. Uh, the Star Wars game looks pretty. I just don't know if it's gonna play. As a yeah, good what first was the shooter. what was the very first Star Wars first person shooter? Oh, the one where you're a stormtrooper and you're yeah. kind of getting your that was that was pretty good, but that was based on a lot of engines that existed at the time. I think like the uh, Doom. Yeah, Doom I think it was Half Life, the Quake Doom engine or something like that. Yeah, yeah one Quake of those. Engine. But uh, yeah, I think Division just because of what they sold us on. Who knows if it's going to come come to happen but the whole like if you could have I think that's why it's a, delayed because use an iPad you could use that as yeah you could use an iPad as your drone and someone could just be using that and give you intel of what's going on up ahead and but oh, what so a great I, concept what a great sort of like get all this together and as a team and as a squad and work your way through New York is and do missions where you like hit a police station was one of the things they showed yeah. you loot up there and, and then you move on but well other people are coming to that police station too because they know that's you know you, you complete the mission you get loot there so and that was just one snippet we saw but man did it look gorgeous on that frostbite engine sure did yeah. Erica yeah. your marshmallow looks done <laughs> yeah, you want to you want to pull that off? It. Yeah, it's, mine is mine's up it's, there with mongies. Get a little, little crunchy. <laughs> Jacob too. Yeah, I like mine on fire. There's always <laughs> I guess at least one, one should be on fire actually. But there's no big surprises this year. I guess maybe I mean E3 is coming up, but I don't know if there's any big surprises. 
No, I mean, Surprise they, they telegraph so early now. Yeah, they, they do. They telegraph so early now. So, but yeah, I think... I like the looks of Witcher 3 that just came out. It looks gorgeous. Yeah. I've been I've... watching some people streaming it, and it's pretty good. The map I is the massive. the first and the second one, and the graphics and the gameplay are just, like, really, really tight, and the story, yeah. it's all there. Like, it's a really great RPG. Like, it's it easily classified up there with... Uh, all the Elder Scrolls games. For That's sure. what it reminded me of because you have those options of obviously communicating people with people and and uh, leveling up and so forth and uh, on a on a grand scale where you can just get lost in the game if you wanted to if you wanted to you know like it's so funny these games come out now when this is like a perfect winter game for for all of us that live up north <laughs> you know and all, oh, yeah. whether you're in Canada or the U S and you live up north and it's just garbage outside this is the game where you know you want whether you're on a PlayStation or if you're on your PC where you just want to hunker down and be like all right. They're gonna escape this horrible weather, and they put it out in spring. You're like, really? Yeah. But yeah, no, it's definitely. I I I agree. I think it's definitely like a like a an Elder Scroll. Looks great. I think it's the looks kind great. of game I would want to play off stream. I've been hearing a lot of yes. streamers say that it's oh, not yeah, yeah. great for streaming, but no. they really love the game. That they love no, playing. Well, it. that's I, I, I think it's I was a watching story. Chris play, yeah. and it was like, you know, it's really hard to watch somebody play this game. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't work. That and you don't way. want to yeah. spoil no. it for yourself either. No. Like if you want to play it yourself. No. And everybody will want to play it a different way too. Like yeah. you get yeah. a lot but of backseating yeah. going on in the stream. Well, that was happening. That's what happened to everybody with Bloodborne, right? Like there was so much backseating in Bloodborne when everybody was playing it. What two weeks ago? That was the yeah. game two weeks ago, right? <laughs> What's yeah. going it on? Quick. Eh? It was quick. I mean, this that's the thing, right? Original original games. I mean, what happened to Evolve? <laughs> yeah, I know. Wow, that, I I, yeah, I never I feel I, so far for that. I never feel bad for major <laughs> companies, but I feel really bad for them because we kind of oh, watched. Were, they were. Yeah, I was yeah, just gonna we say saw them. we we saw them right. We 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 saw these guys at, at the last two paxes and, and before the game was launched and seen them really hype it up and you kind of you, you know you kind of root for be them. The next, it was gonna be the next pro game league. Yeah, and I mean mind. it's <laughs> that's yeah, and it's just completely disappeared as far as Twitch. I have no idea how the consoles are doing. I don't know if, if kids are playing on the consoles like like I nervously. I'm sure they made their money back. Oh, for sure they made their money back, but I think I think you want more than that. You want a game that has some longevity yeah. and, and the problem with it and I talked to Jeremy uh, Tank about this and and we kind of both agree that it's the it's the um, it's the placing right like you're waiting for someone to get your your team and you're getting oh, yeah, sort of grouped yeah, yeah, with yeah, different yeah. ranks and then you're also get, so you're getting screwed because you're getting with somebody who's never played the game or you're just getting a bunch of people that rather just sit in the corner and do nothing while you but you got to work as a look, team so look at the top 10 top, top 10 games on that are being streamed right now how many of them are around for um, less than six months and how many of them have been yeah. around for longer than a year oh yeah there's you got league, you know what I mean? dota like, there's oh god dota yeah. hard well, what's, even, what's the other one league CSGO, league CSGO, league right like CSGO oh, yeah, has a recipe yeah um but even you know as, as clanky as it is daisy's been on that on that front page for since it, it came yeah, out. Yeah, that's got to say something mm -hmm. with all of its flaws and as many people that oh, yeah. hate it. And I mean, I know plenty of people in person that are just like, you're still playing that game? Like, it's garbage. They got trucks in there yet? They got this in there yet? Because they all come <laughs> from the mod. And you know what? Besides the inventory, the mod was pretty freaking good until it got scripted out at, to, to hell. But before Absolutely. then, holy oh, Jesus, yeah. what is it? I mean, it brought me back to PC gaming. Like, before that, I was playing... Um, zero PC games I kind of like abandoned it and I was playing most like the first Modern Warfare 2 on, on PlayStation 3 and had a bunch of friends and we all played that and that was pretty much my sort of go-to game I did Skyrim not Skyrim but what's the last what was the last game with Skyrim was Oblivion. Yeah, Skyrim. Oblivion. Yes. yeah Oblivion and Skyrim on the console and you know those kind of games right um, the first person shooters and the, and the adventure games and, and that was it and, and someone told me about this game and I had a basic i5 and so I was like downloaded tried it and I was never looked back and this was like I think it was a couple weeks after it was even released it was like a whole, a full, whole 4chan thing sort of started talking about it then Reddit picked it up and then I got friends telling me in Vancouver about this game called Daisy. And when you first hear the word Daisy, I'm thinking of a flower. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, no, no, no. It's like the survival game. You start on the beach. And oh, Daisy. Yeah, at, 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 yeah, yeah, exactly. You start on the beach with with your with the ocean to your back, and just you gotta live. You gotta survive. That's it. I'm like, well, what else do you do? You gotta survive. 
and downloaded it and tried it and it was, you know the, all the quirks of getting a mod to work as we all know back then <laughs> and Jesus how many years has it been since that came out and where we were standalone and I'm still playing it like if not once a week more you know and a lot of us are there's got to be something said about that or, or yeah. we're all insane <laughs> well, there's, all, there's probably a little, a little bit of that. I mean, it's, it's, it's a bit of craxy, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty addicting. Yeah, it is, and it's also you get a no really good I, I thrill out of it. I think the thing is, is that you, the way I play and the way the Mongi plays, or is completely different. You know, I can go exploring. Oh yeah. You know, oh look, a new building, a new town, a new whatever. Mm -hmm. And and Mongi's like, let's go shoot shit down an electro. You know. Yeah. Which is also <laughs> yeah. fun. Like they're they're both valid, but you can play it any way you want. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Like, I mean, it, it's you know the huge sandbox to whatever you want, like whatever that you can think of. Like it, it's only limited, really, to like you know how you want to play it like you were saying you know it's just like your ideas it's just like you know yeah. there's there's no set way I, you know and i enjoy watching the the role play servers like those guys who stream there's so much fun like that silliness yeah you know whether it's uh, blackout or those guys you know yeah. it's just well, let's well, eat then... humans and silly crap <laughs> like that and I then mean... there's there's also the way i mean like the way erica uses it too i mean just just tonight as we're playing you're working on a video right now of and finding like a completely red tracksuit and there's like so many variations that you can do with this <laughs> game this is crazy yeah that's pretty much like the first things that i saw of the game were people making youtube videos out of it and i had yeah. no idea what this game was about but i just saw this guy pretending to be morgan freeman running around just like <laughs> gathering a group yeah. of people together to be the fellowship of the can opener and i'm like what the yeah. hell is that? Yeah. Yeah. my favorite one of those of the early videos was the it was shot at night and the guy with the books and the lantern walking down the middle of the street wasn't that mr moon yeah i'm not sure who um, did that it was so i don't good. think it was me, no it was so funny that are, was are so creepy and he had the bag the on his head the, uh, and he had yeah yeah and he had like this weird audio track playing in the background it was awesome yeah. i remember back to uh this to the mod and there was this one where they kidnapped a guy two guys brought him up in a truck into the hills pitch black and they made a ring fire pit ring so they had like probably oh, yeah. 20 fires going in a ring and dropped them both both off in there and had this big like ceremony and like you two will fight to the death and whoever wins will join our team and this went on and on it was just like the music was playing and they're all chanting and moving their hands around and i'm like <laughs> this is fucking creepy this is awesome mm -hmm. and then There's also a great i mean one that i ahead. saw of the mod where there was like a super geared guy just kind of running around and then all of a sudden he runs into this building and there's just some random guy sitting in a corner playing guitar in real life over the voip <laughs> and he was he was like pretending to be a stoner dude so he's like yo man what's up what's happening bro the guys like not not much man what are you doing he's like um you know just chilling and just like role play like singing songs about the apocalypse and changing the words <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> yeah well i mean look at uh oh uh, you know the the whole music video stuff I and mean, those are pretty funny too that you guys did Oh, the day, uh, the Team Geo guys with yeah. their music parodies, yeah. yeah, and like they do all the music themselves as well because they're yeah. both musicians in real life. Yeah, those are awesome. Yeah, as soon as I found those, I was like, oh my god, I have to meet these people. They're Canadian too. Ah, uh, Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I first started playing the mod. It was on. My mom's like four hundred dollar computer. I got like seven frames, ten <laughs> frames. You mean sort of like tonight? On the low oh settings, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Not I much just played it for like every single day for like two years, and I didn't even care about the frames or anything. It was just so much fun. Like I couldn't do anything. I got killed by everyone, but I still <laughs> just ran around. Yeah. Saw what I could get. It is key though to meet people in this game and 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 have people with the like minds because there is. Like we all know, there is no mission, but within 10 to 15 minutes, there's a mission because yeah. one of your friends has broken their legs and mm -hmm. or somebody needs ammo or, or their pants are ruined. So it's like, okay, we're off to find pants or we're off to, you know, that's the missions. They start. Or two people are trapped in a room like me and me and Mongi were. <laughs> and, 
And yeah, uh, you guys are probably getting better frames than the rest. Bring on the on cavalry the side of the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I mean, that's that's the fun of it all. That's that's where it all begins. And then after that, it's like okay, getting even just getting geared up, like starting as a fresh spawn. And, and uh, I mean, right now it's not as fun, but it, in the past, it's it's been like okay, we know where we're going roughly, and it's what uh, I, what that I becomes really the mission. Like is that uh, all of us, it's like we already know basically what everybody has to do, you know, like uh, every everybody, it's just like meshes, you know, it's like we all, you know, have our, our part in the group that we, you know, fulfill and it's just, I don't know, it's just, you know, it's just always meshed, like, you know, since yeah. day one. Yeah. Pumpkins, we'll cut yeah. got the pumpkins. Um, yeah, I mean, like, the, the thing that I enjoy is, it, it, especially being in, in in dev cream, is that every time there's an update, it's like, oh, I wonder what new is out there as far as weapons or buildings or even towns. I used yeah. to I used to text Dave going, I found a new town, I found a new town, you got to check this out. Yeah, yeah, and he'd bring up the map and send me coordinates. I'm like, right up there. It's, it's like, not even map. on the map yet. It's not even it's on the, not map, on the yet. map yet. Whole another town. Yeah, and, and conversely or likewise, like, the little changes and the tweaks that they make uh it's really interesting to see how those things affect the way that you play oh yeah. definitely yeah i think too that the, the, the one the one frustrating on the opposite <laughs> it's saying, that's is, awesome. is that the loot spawn changes you know like oh check the outhouses. oh yeah, the outhouses. yeah you're always looking <laughs> Yeah. In them. Oh, yeah. and then you get yourself conditioned, right? Because you're like the gun house, and it took me forever to realize what a gun house was from you guys, because you guys are much more on it than I am. And so I'd always go to gun house, and now there's nothing in them. Yep. No, God yeah, damn, it. a big waste of time. Yeah, but speaking I mean, of, um, yeah. one of the interesting things that I saw in EXP because I was on it last night was that um, things were spawning in in somewhat more, I would say, realistic type of places, mm -hmm. like. Uh, some of the smaller houses would have little desks in them, and normally you don't even bother looking at them at all. But several times I found a magazine or loose ammo or some stuff like that on top of them, and also on top of like dressers and stuff like that. So places you had you wouldn't necessarily go to, but it kind of makes sense, right? Like where yeah. did you leave this stuff? Moni, mm -hmm. did you just load Daisy up? I did just to have it like. You know, ready to go in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But uh, so in chat, Cricket Saint said he recently witnessed a trial in Daisy. The defendant was found guilty of breaking somebody's legs I and suffered this. death by a sword. I that think it. Awesome. I think it was That's amazing. Jesse. I think it was Jesse and those guys who did this, or at least Jesse walked oh, okay. in on it. It was hilarious. It was. They. <laughs> yeah, the whole church was full of people. Um, oh jeez. Uh, Goldie was in there, and this, or at least they were doing some sort of thing in there. It was so funny. Yeah, That's such I a love, crazy I game. I love the role playing stuff. Do you guys want to uh, go for a quick wander and experimental? Yeah, sure. Sounds good to me. Let's oh see. god. <laughs> it shouldn't Erica, be like going to the dentist, Erica. We're all fresh. We're all fresh. Okay. First time. Alright, 